I have here a Reflections 1, or Reflections 3 poster box, excuse me. Uh, this could very well be the last one I ever open on this channel. I mean, no one knows the future, but, um, yeah, I need to start selling packs from it since I ran out from the other box, and, uh, who knows how fast those ones will sell and if I'll open the, the last one I have or not. Or if I get another one in the future. I guess you never know. But we'll open this up. We'll open one pack. If it's utter rubbish, like three defensive shields and the foils like uh, Bunti Pod Race, then maybe I'll uh, open a second. But I don't want to use... These are the most valuable packs I have, so I don't want to, um, you know, go through them all, even if it is recorded. Excuse me. Have a bit of a cold I'm getting over. Okay. Remember buying these for $3.99 each at the local card store. Remember my brother got a P59 Ultra Rare Foil. We didn't even really know what it it was a big deal at the time, and now that's a, a several hundred dollar card. Okay, that's one thing I have noticed with Reflections 3 box, well, a bunch of boxes, but Reflections 3 especially is the, uh, just over time, it's not like the box was abused or anything, the glue just dries up and comes off there, so it's, uh, it's hard to find one that, I mean, it's not that hard to re-glue it yourself, and it's just glue, so... Um, but it's hard to find one that's in really nice shape. Okay. So here's the, uh, rule sheet, and the rule sheet's in good shape, which means the box is probably in good shape, at least from the top. It's got the, uh, starting effects and defensive shields, which are new card types. All that game text on maintenance cards, which... I guess I didn't really know any of that when I first got my... When I got my first big nets card, but, um, and, uh, apparently it has the rules for episode one environment. So, never did play an episode one environment in real life, but uh, I did play some sealed online on Jemp. That was probably the, that's definitely the high watermark of my sealed career. I went 30, you know, and I, I don't think I've played sealed since. We got the foils here, or premiums on top, 50 each. And we got the foils too, and, the re and I think there's 50 each side for the foils as well, so it's 100 and 100. <coughs> Excuse me, the reason the bottom is so much bigger is that it tells you the original set it's from as well as rarity. So, yeah, the big ones to go for are the ultra rares. So we get them all. We could get a Qui-Gon, we could get a 3PO, or we could get a P-59 Destroyer Droid. So, uh, we'll see what happens here with the pack. Um, I don't know if I want to pick a pack, but I think I have my dice that I use for other videos over here. And I, got, I must have a six-sided die in here. There's a six-sided die. Okay. So I think what I'll do, excuse my voice, I think what I'll do here is uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's make sure this is actually what I think it is. Yep, it's a normal six-sided die. So one, two, three, four, five, six. It is a one, starting from the left. Hopefully finishing from the left. We'll see. bit of a, a halo going on in the screen there, so I'll move this off to the side. It's just reflecting off those packs just right. Or to make sense that there's a halo for Reflections 3 box. They're pretty hard to get. This is my the last one I ever plan on opening, so unless I get another one in stock somehow. I and mean, I'm not too worried about the wrappers here. I've opened way too many of these back in the day when they were much cheaper, so I still have tons of wrappers from this. Okay. Alright, let's start.
starting off with whiteboard premiere. Okay. Oh, I think. Okay. Well, I don't know. I I hate uh, finding the foil too early. So collateral damage. Imperial code cylinder. So far, the junk that's to be expected. Reflections three. The in my experience, the odds the odds that outside of the the three premium cards and outside of the flow that you're going to get anything good are pretty remote. Reflections one, you get a lot of good stuff just in the in the mix of cards there. Peregrine. Okay, so a couple good Jabba's Palace cards as far as Jabba's Palace goes. I see a hint of. Okay, that is the foil. Uh, it's not a good sign, but oops. Got to be very careful. I'm trying to get two cards here at once. All right, there's a couple good ones it could be, um, but gosh, I don't want to think about. Based, I mean, if you saw what I saw, you might be excited or concerned if you know the foils in the set. But it's definitely not a Darth Maul. Okay, here's our premiums. An interrupt. A shield and a. Okay, that's harsh. Um, we got a rare though. And some special edition sites. Okay, it is five and six. That's a mighty Jabba. Oof. Okay. I don't usually do this, but I'm going to go one more pack. Reflections three, but we'll chalk it up to my. I'll pretend I have a fever and I'm not thinking rationally. Okay, starting off with the white border premiere again. I like systems. They're at least cool looking. There's a rare. I do wonder if this card ever got played. Just being able to not see the, the top card of your lost pile. Doesn't seem like it's that. Well, I guess you're allowed to search through your lost pile. Well, I don't know. There's probably some complicated rules there. That's actually a pretty good card. Because your opponent draws no battle destiny. If you, oof. All right, I actually do need a copy of this card, so uh, it's a super rare foil, and uh, it's a pretty uh, good card to get. So uh, I can't be too bummed there. Let's see how we do with our premium. Weapon Love is a fun card. Okay, so we're getting some some iconic cards here. Weapon Levitation, Clash of Sabers. Got an interrupt, an interrupt, and thock and thug. Okay, and another rare. So that's interesting. I wonder if uh, all of the New Hope cards in these packs are going to be rare. So that's, uh, I mean, that's two in a row, so you never know. But uh, we got a Mighty Jabba. We got. I mean, I guess he counts as a main. I think he's a very rare foil, though. We got Thog and Thug. We got Ominous Rumors. So if there is an ultra rare, it's still in that box. What the heck? I'll do one more. Just do the top row. Just do the top row. I don't know why I rolled dice. It didn't matter. This is the last one for real. It was just kind of sticking out. It was, it was staring at me. I don't think I've ever opened three from a box before. And this is kind of the dumbest set to do it from, but that's what also makes it the most fun set to do it from. Man, I'm slaughtering the wrappers though. I'm not even gonna pretend to, to save this one.
lot of cool cards that have been shielded against now. Well, this one has been shielded against. That's a pretty nifty card. Alright, Jabba's Palace itself. I think I'm getting uncommons for all these Jabba's Palace cards, so that might explain. Okay. That's not good. It's. Oh, okay, it's I did it foil. <laughs> I was gonna say Bunti Padres. That would have been bad. Okay. Yeah, ouch. So, uh. I regret opening that third one, but hey, it could be worse, I suppose. Um, there's a lot of good premium cards in uh, Reflections 3, and we didn't really get any of them. So, uh, that's it for these. Uh, better luck next time, I guess. Maybe if you buy a pack or two, you'll get some better luck yourself. Uh, in any case, thanks for watching. Have a good one.